Salutations, it is Saturday, November 29th. The husband is at school, so I will play WoW. Um, so today, um, I got asked for a breakdown of how to get all the level three buildings. Excuse me, for the, uh, for your garrison. So we're gonna go through all of them. Um, and I know we covered the special ones, but I'm gonna go over them again, just in case you have no interest in watching any of my other videos. So uh, we will start with the barracks. So to get the barracks to level three, which I have right here, and you start your garrison with the barracks, but you can absolutely build over it. You just drag a new building over top of it, and then it'll say, oh, do you want to replace it? And then you lose any progress that you've made towards it, but you can do something new. Um, so level three barracks, and I should say all of the large buildings cost 1,200 uh, garrison resources and 500 gold to upgrade from level two to level three. Um, and to get the barracks level three to unlock it, so for each of these, you're not getting the pattern, you're unlocking the ability to buy the blueprint. So you can see you're all of these because you need achievements to unlock all of the level three ones. I have two, so I'm working on it. Um, I'm close on a couple though, so I'm probably gonna work on that this weekend. Anyway, so uh, barracks, you need to do 50 patrol missions. Um, so those, just to kind of explain, are the missions in at your command table that have the little telescope next to it and yeah so that's how you do that you just have to do 50 of them doesn't take long you usually get three or four a day so it only take you probably a couple of weeks um stables you have to fully train all six mounts so you'll get quest to um, obtain all of them then you have to fully train them and actually get them as mounts and then you'll be able to build the level three one um the dwarven bunker or if you're horde the war mill you need to Oh, okay, here we go. <laughs> it might help if I could read my writing. Um, you need to raise 20 followers to level 100. So it doesn't, I don't believe it, I th no, I think it, um, I think it counts when you get them at 100, but just in case it doesn't, most of the followers you get will not be a level 100, so I wouldn't worry too much about it. Um, the gnome gear, gnomish gear works, or if you're hoard the goblin workshop, you need to use all of the inventions numerous times. There's a whole bunch of different type of inventions that you have to use. Some you have to use five times, some you have to use 20. So there's an achievement tracker in the actual thing. We'll show you that. We'll go to buildings. And where are you? Here we go. So you have to use the robot rooster 20 times. You have to use the sticky grenade launcher 50 times. So some are 20. One is 20, three or 50, three or 10, two or five. So just yeah, that's all you have to do. Um, okay, and then the Mage Tower, you have to loot 500 Ogre Waystones. And as far as I know, those just drop off of various Ogres all throughout Azeroth, but I pro or all throughout Draenor, but I probably should have looked that up. So, Ogre, if I could spell, that would be great. Ogre Waystone. Yeah, so they just drop off of Ogres who are in Nagran, they are in Frostfire Ridge. So anytime you see an actual ogre they will drop off of them and you need they don't just drop off for everyone you need to actually have the mage tower built already in order for that to work all right and we'll go to medium so the inn you need to complete all the quests so there are dailies there but there are also quests there and when you do the quest you'll get um sometimes you'll get a toy sometimes you'll just get a random item sometimes you'll get just a uh like a essentially like a loot bag full of random crap um you can get pets uh, there's lots, and you can get like transmog items. There's lots of stuff you can get. You just need to do all of them once. Um, the trading post, you have, to, sorry, and all the medium buildings require 600 resources and 500 gold to upgrade to level three. Um, the trading post, you need to get three of the Draenor um, reputations to Exalted. Now, as far as I know, as of right now, there are only four, um, and that one of them is when you use the trading post. Um, the fifth one, I assume, will be a raiding one, and I'm not sure. I don't think the raids are exactly open yet, but they might be, and then in which case there's obviously going to be a raiding faction. So um, that's the trading post. The barn, you need to do 125 work orders at the barn. The gladiator sanctum, uh, you need to loot 4,000 broken bones, which you get off of looting pvp corpses so when you're fighting player versus player when you're doing player versus player so in a shran or if you just kill random people of the opposite faction all throughout draenor you will get broken bones you need to loot four thousand of them i assume they're a pretty common drop and you probably get multiples um and this only works in draenor so i don't know if it works in battlegrounds it might but as far as i know it only works in a shran or in world pvp 
And the lumber mill, you need to complete 75 work orders at the lumber mill and um, a couple quests as well as part of the chain, I would imagine. Um, these small buildings. So these cost 300 resources and 500 gold to get up to level three. Um, the salvage yard, you need to loot 100 salvage. So you need to essentially get 100 salvage crates, which you get once you build a salvage yard. Once you do missions, you have a chance to get a crate of salvage or a bag of salvage, depending on the level. Um, and yeah, you just have to loot 100 salvage, which is just like crappy gear. Um, <coughs> so, and then the storehouse, you need to loot 10,000 gold in Draenor. Um, I believe dungeons count. And the rest of these are all professions, and they are generic. So once you unlock one, you unlock all of them. And the, on the only way you can do that is by completing 250 work orders at your garrison. Now these are all work orders, so they include the mine, they include the herb garden, they include the trading post, they include whatever profession buildings you have in your uh, garrison. And then to recap the uh, and the recap the other ones, so I have two of them at level three already. Uh, the herb garden, the pet menagerie, fishing shack, and the mine, they cost 100 resources and 500 gold to get to level three. And again, we're recapping this because I kind of covered this before. Uh, the mine, you need to get 500 stone. If you are a miner, you will get this faster, but otherwise you just have to get it from mining and in your mine. And then again, if you're a miner, you can, and you mine all throughout Draenor, you will get stone as you mine. Uh, herb garden works the same, except it's seeds. So if you have herbalism and you are going around and collecting herbs all over Draenor, you will get the seeds quicker. Uh, if not, just go back to your herb garden every day. Uh, the fishing shack, you need to loot 100 enormous fish of each of the seven types. And the best way to do that is to fish until you get the lure and then go to the zone, add it to your fishing rod, get, uh, add any buffs that you can to make your fishing very, very high. It increases your chances of getting an enormous fish. Make sure you have the bait, otherwise you're going to get a lot of the crescent saber fish, which is the eighth other fish that you get everywhere that you use to kind of just kind of get yourself started for cooking and whatnot. Um, and yeah, once you get all that, you will be able to buy the pattern. And then the pet menagerie, you need to win 500 pet battles in Draenor. I am nowhere near close to that one. I'm probably going to work on that a lot this weekend, but yeah, that is it for today, guys. Um, let's all tab a bit. Am I, oh, good, it's a shorter video. It's under 10 minutes. I apologize for the length of the last ones, but I'm trying to be as informative as possible. And yeah, that is it. Thank you so much for watching. Tomorrow we're going to probably, I'm probably going to tell you about the gong show that was my car these last three weeks because that was freaking insane. Anyway, thank you for watching. Like and subscribe if you feel so inclined. Have a beautiful day.